Trans Privateer FX. Coming at you 29 November, second to last day of the month. Got some month end flows today to fix, so be careful of that. Let's get right into it. Uh, yesterday we talked about being short cable and short Euro CAD, uh, long dollar Swiss. Looks like everything was easy peasy. Uh, obviously, those of you who are trading know uh, it was not. We'll go over those uh, positions and see where we are on that. First, let's look at the rates. Uh, we opened yesterday at the lows. It was 363. Now we're 368. You can see this is a doji. Um, trade price is above 372. You can buy dollar yen today. I think that'll be an interesting trigger. Equities are not doing much. They got punched in the face yesterday. A little bit of a bounce here. Crude flying. Um, you know, 73 bucks yesterday. Almost 79. This is delayed 78.32. It's actually trading at 78.75 right now. Um, man, the vol on crude. Thank God I'm not um, getting tossed and turned in that market. I feel like in general crude is just a buy on crazy dips uh, going forward until you know we sort out um, this supply mess. Um, anyway, crude's way higher. Uh, oh, it's bouncing around now. Just dropped twenty cents, seventy-eight sixty. Um, let's move on. Uh, Aussie got plundered yesterday, and now it's back moving up. Um, this is like. Is China going to massive lockdown? I don't think China's going to massive lockdown type of a deal. Um, just massive whipsaw. We're not really involved in the Aussie. Is this going to fill the gap uh, at some point before non-farms this week? Probably, yes. Tharcad's not doing too much. Uh, up to 95 yesterday. Uh, now back at 34. CAD GDP today. So if you're running EuroCAD or you're running DollarCAD or CAD Swiss, uh, Heads up, CAD GDP today, 2.30, um, Swiss time. Euro, what a dick suck, my fucking lord. Let's put the hourlies up. Like, someone explain these, one, two, three, four, five, up to here, five straight hours in a row. Well, basically nothing. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hours straight down uh, to new lows. That was hard to figure, hard to understand. But anyway, it looks like we have a very important top at 105 now. This is this is something to note because this is the kind of week where ranges break, right? Um, so this we could very easily see 99 cents at the end of this week. We could very easily see 108 at the end of this week. We just have a kerfuffle of releases, including non-farms at the end of the week. We got Powell. We got, uh, you know, millions of things going on here. Um, so one thing we do know, 105, super important on the top side. Cable, it, was, it wasn't it that hard, right? It just, I mean, we went up to um, 121.18. We, we opened sort of at 120.60. Um, so you had to sort of feather into some shorts here. And then at the fix, we went back below 120.25 all the way down to 119.39 mm -hmm. back to 120.25 here we are at 84 um, if you're not short already there's really nothing you can do here uh, I don't think it makes too much sense here to sell at 86 the next real big point um, that we all know because we all traded it was 119.08 uh, or let's call it 119.10 this would be support first time down and then back through that uh, becomes incredibly interesting. We still like cable lower. Uh, those of you who are playing with cable today, 4 p.m. Swiss time, uh, Governor Bailey is speaking. Um, can't imagine that's going to be too, um, too positive. You might try and lean hawkish, but like, look, the UK is at the mercy of the global, uh, the global space. There's no way he can be, there's no way strategically and technically he can just keep raising rates really um, above four or he just cripples his own, cripples his own house. So um, we fade hawkish talk 
from the central banks in general and we fade it uh, with a strategy within reason um, because in our opinion uh, these banks these central banks are cornered right there's just too much debt out there for us to raise rates through the crazy roof um, so what they're trying to do is kind of scare people into a recession uh, lower inflation and then they can um, have a little bit more flexibility anyway euro sterling higher yesterday um, we've been talking about 8572 looks like that is a very serious and important bottom traded all the way up to 85 8675 now we're dead, dead smack in the middle um, this move up to 8575 helped us with our cable shorts right because euro is exploding higher but cable um, was much less was much more muted because of euro sterling so for once euro sterling kind of saved us yesterday here's our famous euro cad um, you know we started shorting at 140 we sold some more at 140 30 we were like crying like babies up at 140 86 but this was also at 105 the figure in euro um, so I would say we unprofessionally uh, did sell some more up here very very unprofessional day I mean you never catch privateer FX fucking wearing 80 uh, or a hundred ticks on a position it just even though you're one-third 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 I can say that after the fact but in fact it wasn't true I was totally over leveraged up here uh, got incredibly lucky but then what happens when you get lucky right you get back to 140 and you're just like phew like let's just walk away from this day it was a very unprofessional day I don't even want to think about it anymore you fool around at 140, try and make a few more pips, and all of a sudden you're not short anymore. And here the fuck we are at 139.13. Um, exactly what we were looking for, exactly what we were hoping for. Um, but because we mistimed it, really the, sh the short point was 140.50. It wasn't 140. We were just, we were impatient. We did everything you shouldn't do. Uh, when you're trading this kind of signal this is a mean reversion signal um, anyway you know total douche uh, that's uh, that was me yesterday okay cable worked uh, okay dollar Swiss worked but Eurocad was really a big winner if it was traded correctly um, and we're square just like looking like you know criminally stupid Let's go to Dollar Swiss. You know, Dollar Swiss is muted, right? If the shit doesn't really do too much. Um, you kind of just buy this on dips. Keep your eye on rates um, as rates go higher. D dollar Swiss is basically like, you know, dollar yen. It's like a third grade version of a collegiate dollar yen, right? It's like, you know, third grade track star running uh, 400 meters in 100 seconds. Um, but because we live in Switzerland, um, we pay a lot of attention to dollar Swiss, so we're pretty comfortable with it, and, and we do what we need to do. We're still long dollar Swiss, uh, decent average. Dollar yen, which moves 200 points a day, it's not for the faint-hearted. It's really trading off of this. Uh, sorry, this. So dollar, so tens are tens are 368 down from 372, and you can see dollar yen is coming off a bit here. Um, from 60 down to 45 yesterday the sort of get out of jail card was 36 you can see we traded down to 36 it was support uh, in typical dollar yen fashion we'll probably we'll probably slip through 36 and head down to the figure just keep your eye on rates and if you feel like rates are turning and you're feeling nimble grab some dollar yen um, make sweet love to dollar yen I have some friends uh, who have befriended some Japanese investors uh, in the real estate uh, real estate world. I won't go into further detail, uh, but um, the stories uh, that he's telling me about uh, culturally these Japanese dudes, very polite, very professional. Um, man, I've never really done business in Japan. I've tried to, <clears throat> never really had much success. But uh, we're hearing good things. 
about Japanese businessmen, uh, but we're also hearing how much they're suffering, right, and how much they're worried about the region. Um, they're suffering because the yen is weakened, but they're worried about the region because China and Taiwan and all of these guys are uh, having a bit of a moment. And so there's a fair few guys who are moving their money into what you would call safe hands in the West, uh, buying what you would call safe assets, which is like safe real estate. Um, so I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's a contrarian, like are they... Are they buying dollar yen at the highs? Um, but it does seem to me that moving big amounts of yen into dollars uh, unhedged um, does does put a general floor. That's real money trading in dollar yen. Um, although, I don't know why I'm telling you this now. It doesn't help you today. Watch 10 years. Uh, probably try and scoop some dollar yen around 138 to figure today because the rates are look like they're going to go higher. Dollar Swiss we talked about. CAD Swiss is basically Euro CAD but less uh, less juicy. You know, you were supposed to be buying this uh, yesterday, 69.80. Um, never really got there, 94 the low. But you can see the mu how muted the vol was compared to that idiotic Euro CAD chart. So if basically, if you're a pussy and you want to trade dollar yen, you trade dollar Swiss. Basically, if you're a pussy, you don't want to trade Euro CAD, you trade CAD Swiss. Um, it's okay to be pussy. Everyone loves pussy. Uh, so it's a totally okay if you want to be a pussy. 6224, uh, 44 is the um, gap fill in, in Kiwi. I guess we filled it yesterday. What was the exact high? Yeah, 443. Um, not sure what to do with Kiwi. Euro Swiss, just stay away from this this evil animal. Triple top at 9890. I certainly don't care. Um Aussie yen <coughs> could have mean reverted this yesterday, but we didn't uh, mainly because we were just kind of a little bit pussy about uh, the yen side of this. But um this thing's coming back and this is basically just is Asia gonna be okay? Buy your Aussie yen. If you think Asia is fucked, sell Aussie yen. Uh, Euro yen, not doing too much. You can see it's a slightly downward sloping here, but really not doing anything. And sterling yen, same same bit of nonsense. Our buddy, um, the South African Rand, hanging in there, right? Today's a bit risk on. He's heading left. I bet there's a point here, kind of mid range. No, we we haven't traded Rand in a while. We gotta get back into this. Uh, and then here's the Asia's fucked. Green bars up. Asia's okay. Red bars down. Um, I won't get into the rest of it. Uh, we're basically probably gonna scoop up some dollar yen down here between here and the figure. We are still running cable shorts. Uh, our fade. You know our resell point. We have a we have a very tidy average now. Our resell point is up at 50. Um, Eurocad, we suck. We don't have a position. Blow me. Um, and then you know we gotta we gotta be careful, right? Today there's a lot of releases. There's consumer confidence in the U.S. There's Bailey speaking in the sterling world. There's CAD GDP. Um, and then this morning, we have all the German CPIs, we have Spanish CPI, we have money supply, mortgage approvals, net lending out of the UK. We also have MPC man speaking. So it's one of these days you got to be on your toes. You got to be reading the news. But more important than reading the news, just be ready when news is released for volatility and figure out like if he says this, it's going to go higher. If he says this, it's going to go lower. But you, you really want to watch price and then read. So watch price and then quickly read instead of quickly read and then watch price. Um, anyway, said enough. Good luck out there, people. Uh, make some dough. Why not? You deserve it. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.